Hello guys, welcome to the first Avocode webinar. Today I'd like to show you how you can become an Avocode expert in less than 20 minutes. Before we start, I just want to share a bit of our story. So in 2013, we launched our first version of Avocode, a design handoff tool mainly for sketch and Photoshop design files. But nowadays, actually over 10,000 teams from all around the world use Avocode to hand off designs, version them, give feedback and collaborate. It all really comes down to a role in your team. So if you're a designer, Avocode will be very helpful to you in terms of design handoff and design versioning. With Avocode, you don't have to prepare assets, specs or anything. You simply upload a design and that's it. If you're a developer, well, you will appreciate that Avocode automatically generates all assets and code for you. So basically, you don't have to you know, ask your designer to send you assets and specs, but you can simply open the design file, whatever the format, in one UI to get all the code, assets, and specs that you need. And if you're any other stakeholder in the team, as a manager, for example, or you know some guy who's just reviewing the, the work, Avocode is also very helpful in terms of giving feedback and uh, tracking design progress. Now that we've gone through what is our code actually good for, we can actually take a look at the app. The first thing you see when you come to Avocode is that you need to create a project. Avocode comes with support for web, iOS and Android projects. So basically you just name the project. You can notice that Avocode is automatically changing the dimensions and color format for each platform. But you don't really have to worry about that now because you can change these settings at any time. So let's create this project. Once you're in the project, there are multiple ways how you can add design files. Adding design files is really key if you want to unlock the actual power of Avacode, be it for design versioning, design handoff, or design feedback. The easiest way to add a design file to Avacode is simply by drag and dropping. Simply take a design file and drop it in the project. Once the design upload is complete, you can simply open the design file, select an artboard and share it with a colleague. If you want someone to comment on the design, just make sure that the design link is public. You can copy it and share it. One of the benefits of Avocode is that whatever design file you add there, you can always download it. So if you work with more people, Avocode actually works as a cloud-based storage. So any design file can be simply downloaded. As a designer, you might want to share designs directly from your favorite design tool. And it's actually quite easy with the Avocode desktop app. Simply go to avocode.com slash download and download the desktop app for Mac, Windows or Linux. Once you download and install the app, it will automatically install a plugin in Sketch, Adobe XD, Photoshop or Illustrator if they're already installed on your machine. So now we can take a look at how you can actually import the design file from Sketch. So let's open up Sketch and here you can see that I have two artboards. Let's se simply select one, go to Plugins, Avocode and Sync Selected Artboards. Avocode will immediately open up and you can choose the project where you want to import this design. You can even describe what's in this design or what has changed when it comes to new versions. The same way you can import design files from Adobe XD. Just go select the artboards you want to send to Avocode, go to File, Export and hit Avocode. Avocode will again open up and you already notice, just select the project and add it there. If you're a Photoshop user, you can also enable the plugin just by going to Window, Extensions, and Avocode. The same way goes for Adobe Illustrator. Just go to Window, Extensions, and hit Avocode. If you're a Figma user, you can simply sync designs to Avocode by our integration. So just open a design, go to Menu, Integrations, hit Avocode, and this will enable the integration. Then all you have to do is simply select an artboard, one or two or three, 
can be any amount and then go to file export and up here when it says image just switch it to our code it will give you a preview of the artworks that will be synced to our code when you hit export our code will open up in a new tab then again you can simply import the design file if your design files live in your company Dropbox, simply import them like this. Just open a project, go to Add from Dropbox, and the Dropbox login will open up. Simply log into your Dropbox and choose the file you want to sync to our code. So now you know how to upload designs. It's quite simple. Just drag and drop your files in the browser in any project or in the desktop app. If you'd like to sync them directly from your favorite design tool, just use one of our plugins. And you can also import design files from your Dropbox, like I showed you before. If you're a developer, you will probably want to inspect the design. So simply open it. And then you can just click around layers and you can already see that on your right, the Avocode Inspector panel gives you all the necessary information. For example, when you click on text layers, you can see that our code automatically generates the code in CSS or just styles of this layer. You can also double click to copy the text and the same goes for image assets. So just select an image asset, double click and our code export model will show up. You can rename the asset, scale it up or down and change the format to JPEG, SVG or WebP. And you can also add as many variants as you want. Then simply hit export. As you are selecting layers, you have probably noticed that you can select any amount of layers in Avocode. This is thanks to our custom rendering that is actually rendering the content of your design file. So or fonts, vector shapes, and uh, the whole layout is actually being rendered exactly as it looked in the design tool. This is very handy when you want to export a selection of multiple layers. Simply hold the shift key and select more layers. You can already see that they are the export preview is changing and you can export everything that's in your selection. Speaking of image export, you can actually hide layers as well. So just select the layer you want, hide it, and it will not be there anymore. You can select layers either by dragging or from the layer panel on your left. This is also very handy when it comes to measuring so whatever layer you choose and then hover over other layers, you can measure the distances and sizes of the exact layer. When it comes to code export, you can simply select particular values that you want to export or click on the entire line to export it or select multiple lines of the code to export the whole code snippet. Our code generates 10 different code languages actually. To change them, simply click on this wheel and select your favorite language. For example, if you choose Swift, you can already see that the generated code is different. If you'd like to customize the code output, just go to the code settings and change anything you want. By the way, this opens up the app preferences where you can change the look of our code. You can customize code, as I already mentioned, and you can ch check out these very helpful shortcuts that will speed up your work as well. Alright, now you know the essentials of our inspecting tool. Simply double click on assets to export them, hover around with your mouse to measure things, and pick code from the right pan if you want to speed up your coding process. As a manager, you might want to give some feedback on the design if you don't like it. So simply select the artwork you want to comment on and hit on this little comment icon to open it in the comment mode. You can zoom out slightly and just click around to start writing your comments. 
If you want to tag someone from your team, simply use the add symbol and choose one person from the list. If the design has been updated and you're satisfied with the change, you can simply resolve the comment like this. So now you know how to give feedback. Simply click on the design, start writing, use the add symbol to mention people, and if you're satisfied with the change, just resolve the comment. So I hope you had a good time and that you learned something. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask on your right in the chat and someone from our customer support will just simply reply. Also explore our help center and if you're ever in trouble or just need help or explanation with something, just chat with us using the in-app chat in code. Last but not least, please let us know what other topic we should cover in our upcoming webinar. Thank you and have a good time.